presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement. It becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on the truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 455, NASDAQ is up 240, SP is up 63, gold contract down $5.70, trading at 1761 an ounce. We got silver flat, $22.64 an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck forty, $79.03 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note down 11.6, trading 131.23. The 30 year off a full point at 159.03 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 213 ticks, trading at 93.989. Euro out here at 115, yen at 111 and a half, and the British pound is at 136 to 1 US dollar. Excuse me, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we get a bounce happening out here. You know, we came down. First off, we, we get down to the benchmark. So your benchmark out here, the first benchmark, we're dealing with that the, the 19th of July. 19th of July, the high of that was that 431. The low was uh, 421. You had volume out here of 147 million. We get down there yesterday. To 426, you closed out at 429, so you're above the high. Well, actually, one second, that's interesting. Closed at okay, 428. That's interesting. They, so the 420, 431. Okay. Oh, this is really cool then. So check this out. On the spy, what happened is that you actually didn't reject the price also. Normally what happens is this, folks. Normally you, you get down to the benchmark, right? And when you're into the benchmark, what markets love to do is that they'll either go to the bottom of the benchmark or the top of the benchmark, okay? Bottom line, what ends up happening is it didn't close above it yesterday where the queues did. Well, eh, let me go through it anyway. So bottom line is that we're, we're bouncing, you're bouncing on light volume, and we'll see whether this thing can get up to the uh, four, body three area. Now, it's just really cool. One of the tigers are just telling me um, that that also happens to be the 50-day moving average. So let's put it up there and see what, oh, look at that. Man, that's weird. So I'm not a user of these 50 days. I, I look at them sometimes, folks, okay? I just don't, that, there's, there's nothing wrong. I mean, trend setting is, these trends work. Uh, that being said, though, the reason I was going there was that that's ice also, and that's what markets like to do. So this is actually really cool actually because when you are coming up to a 200 after you broke it and we broke the 200 with conviction i mean the 50 the 50 day moving average with conviction see when we broke down when we broke down you can see the volume there was uh, 166 million you gap down that's that's where i suspect we're going to go and i suspect as we get up there it's going to be with light volume and this kind of setting up right too actually because today's tuesday you can go up all week. You hit it on Friday. Um, you know, we, we see where this shakes out. Okay, so the uh, the Qs, the Qs come down to the benchmark. The benchmark on the Qs was 352. 
Uh, now, this is what the difference is, and this is where my take is that we're going lower, and this is what it is. So picture the benchmark at 64 million shares traded. Well, we got down there with uh, 76 million. So now you have another high volume low. You're bouncing today on 36, so we'll do about 46. Same setup. And we'll see whether the Qs can get up to this uh, 372. And if we put this on it, what do we have there? Oh, look at that. Same number, man. That's weird. So 370, 370.12 is the number on the Qs. And the, the Qs actually broke the 50 and the 100. Uh, saved itself today from the 100. But there's, there's some problems in paradise out here. Gold. Gold contract out here wants higher price. Uh, gold contract has, has had its problems, that's for sure, man. Uh, bottom line, that being said, uh, gold's moving the other way now. We're, we're down 580. Uh, you're at 1761. That's inside day. Yesterday we had a low of uh, 1747. Today you got a low of 1748. We've done 146,000 contracts out here. And yesterday, what do we do? Yesterday you did uh, 166. This is building cause to get up to the top of the range. Top of the range is that 1836 number. Notes and bonds. Now, let's take a look at these notes and bonds, because that when earlier today, yeah, it's still light volume. Okay, these still want higher price. This is going to get intriguing watching this out. So, you're down 12 ticks on the 10-year. We're at 131.22. That being said, you're coming, look what you're coming into. You're coming into 2 million contracts as well as 2 million. So, we did 2 million. On the low, we did 2.4 million. Next day, you did 2 million. Next day, you did 2 million. Next day, you did 2 million. Now we're backing down 1.3. Backing down 1.3. That's saying that we're going to basically, you back, you go up with volume, you're backing down with lighter volume. That's saying higher prices are coming at us. King dollar. King dollar uh, did get back inside its lower range yesterday. We hit, let's see, so we hit yesterday 93.678, and the lower range is uh, 90. Oh, no, we didn't do it. No, we didn't. Yeah, six, seven, eight. Now the lower range starts at ninety-three, four thirty-four. It looks to me, though, the way this is set up right now, that we're actually building cars to get back inside that range. And if that's what we get, folks, what you'll get is this: when you can't bust them up, you're going to bust them down. When you actually break out and you have a major break of a swing, which this actually did, and you fail, that is saying that you go to the bottom of the consolidation, which is eighty-nine five hundred. So. We'll see where this is going to go, uh, but the bottom line is that it looks to me like you are building cars to get back inside to go to lower price. Oh, we got to go look at the oil market, man. <laughs> this oil market, something else. So the oil market's up a buck forty-six. You have volume behind the move. We've done forty-one thousand con, four hundred eighteen thousand contracts. That's good contract volume, too, man. Holy cow! This is all about inflation, man. But so picture this for a second, too. We're go we're doing these types of numbers in the oil market. And that's with the dollar higher. <laughs> when, if, in fact, this dollar goes lower, um, you know, oil's going higher. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 479. We get the NASDAQ up 246. S&P's up 66. Stay right there, folks. Come, on, come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 466. You get the NASDAQ up 239. S&Ps are up 64. And that's a gain inside the uh, NASDAQ of 1.6%. S&Ps 1.5. And the Dow Industrials 1.3. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day. Uh, where am I at? 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> I know we changed, uh, one second, hold it. Am I right, Basil? It's 10 to 11? Hold it. 10 o'clock to 11 yeah, o'clock, I'm yes. getting, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm spinning around. Okay, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. He also has a great newsletter, folks, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right on the newsletters, the opening call on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. As you hit subscribe, you can get it for one month for $149. You can get it for six months or six ninety five, or which saves you one hundred ninety nine dollars at twenty two percent. You can get it for a year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars or thirty three percent. Now they all come, folks, with a thirty day money back guarantee. Bottom line, you come test drive the newsletter. You like it, you no problem. You don't it doesn't work for you for some reason. You're going to get your money back. And just so you can understand. When you get Basil's newsletter, he has about 12 archives on there. You can understand exactly how to ride this market and ride the Chapman wave each and every day. And we get a tradable market here, folks. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. And talk about tradable market. Look at this uh, the big green, big red candle. That Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that was Thursday. Big green candle Friday on the Dow on the daily. Red candle yesterday, and now a green candle. This is, I call this the sandwich effect. And what often happens is that when you get these different, very big, different color bars, yes, and they alternate color, at some point, uh, they they will reverse or continue that particular pattern. It's almost like a little cluster formation. So I've been anticipating. Well, since we we had sell signals on the Dow, the high was thirty five thousand six thirty one on the sixteenth of August. Uh, we have, were riding the diamonds on the upside. Then we went to the short side. But over the last couple of days, we've been trying to play the diamonds, the Dow diamonds as one to one long the Dow. That means that you don't have to short or go long or anything. It's a position that is like the Dow. It is the trading position of the Dow itself because you can't trade the Dow unless you go to the futures or you go to the diamonds. So we've been fortunate. We've been able to, over the last couple of days, been able to pick up the lows and write it up and just take profits on the short term. But this is a very interesting one because you can see they're rising lows 
And we did start a little, what I call a gray leg A to the upside today because we went above yesterday's uh, high. Okay. Now, what's really important is that if you look at the weekly chart, the weekly chart is saying within the context of the high that was made uh, on August the 16th at 35,631, the slide down to 33,613, that's, that's only 2,000 points when you're thinking of a market that's had a, such a spectacular move. But I'm considering that this is part of a big consolidation. You and I have been talking about this for quite a while, that there's a consolidation coming. And so my, my anticipation is that the Dow is holding up a, a little bit better than some of the others. We have been short the QQQ. Um, we've taken profits, uh, a little bit of profit, but now we, we're still holding the short from just the all-time high in the NDX 100 trading vehicle called the Invesco QQQ Trust Series. Hit 382.78. This is the NDX 100 trading vehicle on the 7th of July. A couple of days later, within less than two points of the high, we went short. We still hold a little bit of that position on the short side. I'm anticipating that this is going to be a deeper time and price consolidation, but we've got to anticipate that on the very short term, it got really oversold, and therefore, uh, you can expect a little bit more of a bounce in the queues to try to catch up to uh, the down, even the S&P. But what I thought I'd do is I'd explain uh, what I've been doing for subscribers. We still have some core long positions, and some of them in the medical technology, and the uh, uh, we still have that Agilent that we bought at 70, and it, it more than doubled. We've tried to keep a core position. They've taken nice profits. But most importantly, I think it's very selective right now. So I thought I'd go through a particular trade because it's up nicely. It wouldn't, otherwise, it wouldn't be fair to subscribers. But this is moving very nicely today. So this morning, when I was last night and this morning when I was doing, um, actually started over the weekend, I looked at the stock, PayX, P-A-Y-X is the symbol. It does payroll, it does yes. business insurance, benefits, etc. Paychecks, I use them, yeah. Oh, you do? Well, yeah. you know, I... I've followed this for years, but because I, I, I don't really do anything with them, I kind of, I missed all those big moves. And then I thought, you know, we've had some stocks that look like this that I keep saying we've got to buy, and then I never put it in for the subscribers, and they have spectacular moves, and there's nothing wrong with them. Everything's right. If you look at the um, nine-period moving average of the, MAC, the MACD and the, the nine-period moving average of the uh, weekly chart, you'll see the MACD is weak, but look how nicely this green line for the nine period moving average is sharply above the 14 period moving average as it made that peak D. And then there's a technique in the Chapman Wave methodology that I, I call, let me just get this right here. It's, it's a, a series, the price makes a high, and then it makes a series of, let me just try to get this chart, there it is, it makes a series of lower highs and much lower lows. I call it the falling axe. It looks like an axe. There's the handle. There's the, the, the expanding axe blade. It's an, like a cone formation. What happens is sometimes the price then stops at the bottom of a move down, starts to work its way higher. And if it takes out that uh, the upper declining trend line, it can have a one-to-one -one move to the upside, a very sharp move that takes out or goes back to the previous high. Well, I've been looking at this pattern for a couple of days, and it made this beautiful down channel. Look at this. It's a parallel line, a beautiful yeah. down channel. And then there must have been news because it gapped up, and I have a theory about gaps uh, either on the upside or the downside. It's my, my three-day rule. This meant every one of them, it never went below the um, gap low. And I'll give you the price right now. So, Basil, let me ask something. You like yes. using the nine period on a daily and on the weekly then, right? I use the nine period exponential moving average all the time. And the interesting okay. thing is that the MACD, actually, this green line is the nine period differential. It almost is like uh, because the MACD uses exponential moving averages. Yep. That puts the, that puts the weight on the last, the closing price. Okay. I just don't know what it is over the years. I've tried all the different ones. Yeah. I've just, I, and I know subscribers always say, you know, the nine EMA is just amazing. I call it no, walking it the no, nine EMA. I've been EMA. using the daily since, you know, you've been using it, no doubt. I didn't know you used it on the weekly, though. That's cool, man. Yeah. I, I use it every, every time. For, well, actually, that's the thing. I try to be as consistent as possible. <laughs> 
So I use it in the, everything, 120, whatever I do. Even right here, look on the nine period moving I average. I see, okay, so uh, then whatever you're using it on, you're staying in that time frame. I got Yes, it. Okay, because cool. that's a consistency. Right, cool. right, right. right, and that's all, all I need is consistency. Right. So what I said was for, for it had the spectacular leg A to the upside. Yeah. Underneath the all-time high of 118.62 on the 16th of August. This is pay X. And it ran down to 106. Now, I use a technique on the upside that I call the Chapman Wave 2 bar reversal. We'll see that where price has like within pennies two days in a row, two bars in a row, and then turns down. We had that on the downside. So we got in this morning at 113.29, and it's trading right now at 117, 116.99. So I like to use these techniques, and that's the demonstration of what we just used today to go long. It's awesome, man. And listen, folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter and web page. Basil just went through. Okay, he goes through this every day for you, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Opening call, you just hit that baby. Basil, thanks so much. Have a great one, a safe one. Are you having Same fun idea, trading folks, the markets, back. but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 433. We get the NASDAQ up 213. S&Ps are up uh, 58. And uh, this, this, is a, this is a trip. So you get um, uh, Rivian is going to go public in the next, uh, probably in the next couple of days, folks. This is a electric startup uh you know that uh, is looking for a valuation of 80 billion 80 billion so this can be pretty wild but what you had out here today which is really wild is that you had the um i think she's the ceo yeah she's the ceo uh yeah chief executive officer and investment chief uh of uh the soros fund and i haven't quite seen something like this yet 
Um, this is a quote. Candidly, we hope that they come public a little bit cheaper than that because we want there to be a long-term value play there. Um, that, that comment's pretty intriguing. So picture this. Soros got a stake in a pre-IPO. This CEO is turning around saying that they'd like to see it a little bit cheaper. I can't even... My head can't even spin around that one. I mean, I think that's going to be the uh, just the opposite, right? That either way, they're going to move that stock out. Uh, I think that's the setup to move the stock out, actually. Um, that's, that's pretty wild if that's the case. Crazy. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. And there's, there's going to be um, light volume all across uh, all the indices. Uh, you got Apple up 250. We have Bank of America up a buck. We got... Uh, Occidental Petroleum's up a buck. You get uh, Southwest, that's flat. NVIDIA's up $7.75. Uh, let's go and here. Well, first, I want to go to the, I'm going to go put the generic uh, oil contract up right now. And if we put that baby up, okay, so we're at 79.13 on the generic contract. Put this, we got we to put this back. I'm going to put this on a 15 year. Um, 15-year monthly. Okay, so we just launched. We launched 70. Yeah, 107 dollars is coming at us, man. You know, we just we just launched everything. We just launched a consolidation going all the way back to 2014. You launch a consolidation, man. <laughs> um, that's saying that you know you can make it up to the top of the consolidation. Well, the top of the next uh, swing point, which is 107. So that's what it looks like it's on the table. If we go to the natural gas market, uh, natural gas right now is just finishing an ABC structure on the way up. Uh, this is the highest natural gas has been in, in a long time, man. Uh, you get $6.29. You're up 53 cents today. And a 53 cent move, folks, is $5,300. <laughs> they're going to they're be up in this uh, margin of natural gas any second. Uh, but you can see this was an ABC up. It took the B point out, took it out with volume. It's a dollar eighty from the C, which gets you uh, six fifty. We've hit six thirty-two right now. Let me just see what this is. So, so it's up to sixty-three hundred now. That thing's going to go to ten thousand pretty quick. Uh, that's how. They, they, yeah, they, they're going to have to get it up to that point because you can see sixty-three hundred. It's a $5,200 move today, you know? So, uh, bottom line, you know, energy's going higher, prices are higher, food's higher, transitory, forget it, man. It's not even close. It's not even close. Um, because what, what we also have out here, and y y we're going to see the aspect of uh, transportation cost, uh, like uh, right through the roof. I mean, in a monster way. DVN. Okay, let's see what this is for it's a couple of the tigers out here. Uh, so this is Devon Energy Corporation. The low is 750. The high is 40. That's today. Okay, so this is probably a gas company, right? Yeah, let's take a look at it. There it is. Okay. They operate an independent energy company that involves primarily in the oil and gas exploration, development, production, uh, transportation of oil, gas. Um, the company is marketed mainstream. Yep. I'd say it's quite a bit in gas. And we talk revenue-wise. What we have here is that you're, they're taking in $10 billion a year. Look, look at these numbers, man. You, you talk about uh, a, a roller coaster. Five years ago, they took in $14 billion. Two years ago, they took in $6 billion. Last year, they only took in four point eight. That's when gas was so low. This year... They're saying they're going to take in 10.7, but this is going to go exponential, man. I mean, this is going to be a big number uh, coming but because of the fact that when you have commodities that move so fast, folks, bottom line, that's going right to their bottom line. Um, we take a look at this. We put this on a weekly also. Oh, look at, look at this. Interesting. This is doing the same as natural gas, of course. You're coming up to the top of the consolidation. You have gas. You have Oh, look at this. Oh, this is a big, this is a monster ABC up in a monthly. Okay, so let's do this number. Here we go. Let's bring this closer. Okay, so your B point is 3131. Your A point, oh, this is a big one. 
Seven bucks, man. So they get 20, I'm going to call it 24 bucks. 24, 34, 44, 47 bucks. Well, you get an ABC structure on the way up to $47. That's how this is. Uh, and top of the consolidation, it's 48. That's yeah, an ABC up to $47. And that ABC up, by the way, to $47, that is only a one-to-one -one ABC structure on the way up. You know, I think people will be in shock um, when they probably come out with their numbers. More than likely, here, let me go pull that up again, because more than likely, if these numbers are way too large, DVN, it'll be a material aspect that they'll have to come out prior to it. Well, if they did that, it's going to be pretty soon. So they come out with their numbers on November 2nd. Um, and most times, if, if they get a month, yeah, well, we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, you know, most times it's going to be a material effect. In, in their case, I would say that they're going to come out and it's going to be an upside surprise, uh, you know, in spades. Amazon, let's go take a look at Amazon. Uh, if you were listening to Fast Market this morning, um, it was pretty cool. Uh, I've had uh, Randy Frederick on. In, in fact, Randy Frederick used to have his own show on TFNN. Um, might, he might again, <laughs> because, you know, Schwab, and TD Ameritrade got together, so now that you have the Swab guys on with TD Ameritrade, um, you're talking about a small world as this goes back. But what it, Randy was talking about this morning, which is really cool. You know, I've always said how hard it is to buy Amazon on these pullbacks. And the stat he came out with this morning was pretty cool, that each and every time that Amazon is down 15%, the following year, if you bought it at that point, you're up 42%. <laughs> So, I mean, we know that we're in a speculative market here. Um, you know, my take is Amazon's going to go a little bit lower, you know, but um, you're at 32.36. You get at the bottom of this consolidation is laying out there 28.71 to 3,000. I expect we're going to get down there. And like I've said many times, Amazon is always so hard to buy them. <laughs> it just is something about it that it looks like it's never going to come back. And of course, every time it comes roaring back. You know, if you take a look at Amazon numbers, they're looking to do 111 billion, and you know, five years ago, all year they did 177 billion. I mean, they're still growing exponentially. They're growing an average of 12 percent per year in the United States, internationally, um, everywhere. Dow, Dow Industrials up 442. You get the Nasdaq up 219. S&P's up 58. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 441. Nasdaq's up 214. S&Ps are up 59. And we got a question about the Qs. And this is a great question, man, because, um, well, first off, what the question is, is that um, could the Qs top out at 361? You know, we hit 359 today, and what, when I started the program saying, hey, man, this thing can bounce, you know, all the way up to this at 372. And the reason this is such a great question is this, folks. So the way that we traded yesterday, right, when it seemed to me that yesterday we actually should have got the bounce. Now, we didn't get the bounce, and, well, yeah, let me put this on a daily so I can show you what I'm looking at. Because this, okay, so... You can see when we were down here, there was just selling, selling, selling all the way down. You hit the price projection, meaning the price projection was at 352. We got to 350. And, you know, today you're bouncing, you're bouncing on light volume. But the way that we traded yesterday, um, we haven't seen, I haven't seen trade like that for a while. Meaning that when you get a good correction going, you can sell every bear, every move higher and make money. And what happens is this, folks, okay? It gets really dicey. There's no doubt about that because you get these swings that are freaking huge. And it looks like, like, let's say today, like it's up 597. I'm not thinking it's going to move back down out here today. Tomorrow it might, okay? Um, but what does happen, if I'm correct in the aspect that it's going to be a much larger correction, all of a sudden, these things come out of nowhere, man, and they sell them down. Like, let, let's picture this. So let's just, we'll do this exercise right now. You're up $5.97. If this, if this Q ever sells off, you know, and basically even it gets down to like three fifty six, that'd be saying, yeah, yeah man, <laughs> you could go down, you know, the next couple of days. My take right now is that it's going to bounce for three days first. You know, we'll see. I mean... If it doesn't, and, and this is what ends up happening, whether you're a, a bull or a bear, this, this part of the market is always a little bit tougher. And, and what it is is this. The bulls don't know whether, okay, is it going to bounce? Is it going to bounce? Is it going to go? The bears are saying, oh, man, okay, it's already gone down too far. We get to wait for a nice big bounce before you sell it, okay? So um, it's, it's a tough place for, the, for, for it to be um, unless you get a real, like, if, if we lost two points in the queues right now coming into the close, I'd be like saying, hey, man, this thing's going down. There's way too many sellers. You know, because sh that shouldn't happen on a uh, window dressing at the beginning of the month. That's, that's kind of where that shakes out. And, you know, I suspect what we're going to have is that, you know, we have lighter volume today. I suspect we're going to go up again tomorrow with lighter volume. And then if you get a rejection of price... And you have light of volume, this thing will go south, and it's going to go south quick. My, my take is that we are basically going to have a very large correction. Um, and I, I'm doing that through the technically inside the marketplace, folks. But fundamentally, um, you know, these imbalances are everywhere in the market, not 
I'm, I'm talking about physically now. Physically, if you're ordering anything, and, I, and where I'm going is the amount of orders that we're doing for when I'm building all these houses, it is insane, okay? We're talking about stuff that you can pay for right now and they still don't get for seven or eight months, okay? Um, that is going to slow down the economy in an incredible way because there's going to be plenty of folks that don't have the money to pay seven months before the fact. That's, you know, there's going to, there's going to be troubles out here because of the stretching out of the amount of merchandise that everyone is trying to get. My cousin up in Boston, listen to this one, man. This is, and this is probably have to do with truck drivers, I'm thinking. I, I'm going to call him after the show. So he's always selling, you know, I don't know whether it's 500, 1,000 Christmas trees in South Boston. He texted me this morning, can't believe it, Tommy, I can't get any Christmas trees. Now, this guy's been doing this forever, okay? He knows every connection in Canada, you know, in northern Maine, uh, bottom line. You know, if, if we're down at Christmas trees and you can't get Christmas trees, it's like, I can't wait to hear this one. You know, what is it? Yeah, I mean, you don't need containers for Christmas trees. The way that, that, that it works with Christmas trees, folks, is that they go to the farm. He looks at the farm. He says, okay, I'll take, you know, 500, 1,000 of those. They cut them down, put them on the truck, send them down to South Boston. Bottom line, from the text that I got so far, is that, um, you know, no trees. Okay? Now, I'm just using the trees because I, I didn't... You'd think that, okay... You can get, get Christmas trees, right? The rest of this stuff, everyone's having a problem getting. That eventually is going to hit the marketplace. It absolutely is going to hit the equities because the, well, the last, uh, even the window people I use, the window people I use, they were shot, they're a public company, they were shot $52 million in sales, and we had windows that were supposed to show up in October, and now they're showing up in January. And so that's real because we, we look at it right in the public marketplace, you know. So that, uh, if you, you know, when you get down to the point of a, a fundamental aspect, that's, gonna, that's definitely going to hurt the economy going forward. And the transportation cost has not gone down yet. Um, the transportation cost, the last time, uh, so we were at 14005 per container going from Shanghai to Tampa. It's about 12,005 right now. It used to be $1,750. Uh, containers coming out of Brazil, that was $1,700. Yesterday, they were $10,000. You know, so you can see that there's gonna be plenty of supplies that don't come in, period, because the, 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 the wholesalers are buying stuff, but they're not gonna buy, go overboard because their spreads are coming down dramatically. And on the Brazil deal, that happens to be Stone. I, my Stone person, he's, he's, he's a great guy. He has 300 quarries in Brazil. Uh, bottom line, the, the Stone we get is phenomenal because of that. Uh, but guess what, man? When you go from 1,200 to 10,400 per container, um, that puts the prices up beyond belief. I suspect what... Uh, is going to be happening is that if you need stone in your house or anywhere, I would go get it right now, folks, because what I think is going to happen is this. Four or five months from now, right? So picture, if he's having that trouble right now and he has the most, there's no one in the middle, he has the 300 quarries bringing them in. Picture what's going to happen as these, you know, he wholesales also the other shops. So picture, once that's gone, Right, he's gonna he's got one more shipment coming in with three containers, and then he's gonna wait it out. It, well, if he waits it out, and other people are waiting out, you're gonna go into stone places, and the only thing that's gonna be there is basically inexpensive stone. You're not gonna be able to get you know the colors you want, and um, that excellence is not gonna be out there. You know, uh, and I know that uh, the Tigers then the Santoy shot. This is gonna be everything. I mean, that, that's the bottom line. So my, my point more than anything, this would end up happening. So picture, you know, I'm bearish because I think that the market's going down anyway. But when I really start putting together fundamentally, I says, this is really intriguing this time. I says, because, you know, technically I'm trading the market, but fundamentally I'm trading the market too. And I know, and we all know actually, that there's a supply shortage in a monster way.
Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 400. NASDAQ up 198. S&P's up 52. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 370. And NASDAQ's up 190. S&Ps are up uh, 49. Let's get over and take a look at the NQs. So NQs right now, you yeah, just had we had the first sells prior to uh, you had a little sell down at 10:30 this morning and that came right back this way. Whoops, one more like this. So I think we just got underneath that, which which says that you can get a little more sell down here. Okay, so the number that number there was 14,664. Okay, we're not below it yet. If we if we get below the 664. You only get 10 minutes. You get below that, not that, you know, you can, you can get some juice down to uh, 619. So that would be uh, another 50 points off where we are right now in, inside of the uh, NQs. Uh, the volume's coming in. I mean, so what's happening there, let's see. So you're five minutes into this bar. You can see the bar. The bar's got big bars. So there's a lot of selling. We, we're at 11,000 contracts right now on the bar. You're going into uh, 10,000. But yet you have five minutes left in that bar. So we'll see where the rest of it's going to shake out. Now, inside the NDX 100 today, the strength versus the weakness. The strength was Netflix. That was up 5.5% or 31 bucks. Um, Pace Car was up 3.9%.
and you had uh, DocuSign up uh, 3.7. NVIDIA was up 3.5. Taken away from it, Ross still is down 1.5. INCY off 1.3. And Bookings.com off 1.1. If we go to the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow Industrials and see the leaders out here inside the Dow. You had uh, Goldman Sachs putting eight, 82 positive points. United Health uh, 47, Microsoft 38. Uh, the only red's red. Merck was uh, putting 10 negative. IBM 5 and both Merck as well as uh, IBM. They had monster days out here. Uh, let me just make sure IBM. I, Merck. We know Merck. Man, I can't believe time goes that fast. That is something else. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. I want to say... Happy birthday to my daughter, Olivia. She's 18 years old today. Happy birthday, Olivia. Make it a great year. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.